Today we will start a new chapter in EVS Garbage and its disposal Garbage and its disposal Waste or garbage consists of materials that are no longer needed and are thrown away for example waste food and paper a large quantity of waste produces in houses offices and factories when all the waste is left in op in the open it gives rise to diseases like diarrhea dysentery typhoid and cholera it also creates a foul smell we must keep our surroundings clean types of wastes waste is of two types number 1 is biodegradable number 2 is non biodegradable biodegradable waste some types of wastes decompose easily and become part of the soil this type of waste is called biodegradable waste waste food paper leaves grass and flowers are biodegradable waste non biodegradable waste some of the waste do not decompose easily they do not become part of the soil these wastes are called non biodegradable wastes stay unchanged in the soil for a very long period of time and pollute the soil when animals like cows eat these wastes they fall sick and at times even die disposal of solid wastes it is our responsibility to keep our surroundings clean we pick up all the wastes we create and put them in a dustbin sweepers collect this garbage and dump it in closed garbage bins municipality trucks carry this garbage away from our city wastes are disposed in three different ways open dumping dumping in landfills incineration open dumping in this method the waste is thrown away openly to decompose by the action of air water and sunlight this method is harmful because the dumping area become becomes a breeding ground for insects and germs this increases the risk of catching diseases in such unclean surroundings diseases spread very fast this method is also creates a foul smell in the surroundings dumping in landfills in this method big deep pits called landfills are dug outside cities the waste picked up by municipality trucks is dumped in this landfills these pits are covered with a thick layer of soil or a stone slab this method is a better way of disposing solid waste the waste decomposes in the landfills and becomes a part of the soil it does not provide any breeding ground for insects or germs so there is hardly any risk of catching diseases it does not create a foul smell incineration in cities solid waste especially medical waste are sometimes burnt in big furnaces called incinerators this method is called incineration it also does not create any foul smell however incinerators cause air pollution due to release of smoke and heat the four hours the four hours that we must adopt are reuse reuse replace and recycle 
A. Reduce. We must buy only those things that we need and can use. When we buy too many vegetables, some of them might rot or increase the amount of garbage in our house. Avoid buying things with lots of packing, packaging material. Avoid buying throwaway products like plastic cups, glass and tins. Use a steel plate instead of paper plate. B. Reuse. Reusing means using those items again that otherwise would have been thrown away as waste. Reusing saves money and puts waste to good use. Here are some ways of reusing items. We can reuse empty glass or plastic jars for storing things such as pickles and dals. We can use biscuit and cheese tins for keeping things such as clips, buttons and needles. We can give the clothes and the toys we do not use to the needy. C. Replace. We should replace non-biodegradable materials that we use in our daily life with biodegradable materials. For example, we can replace plastic bags with cloth or jute bags. Recycling paper. Old newspapers and notebooks are collected by a kabadiwala. A kabadiwala is a person who collects waste paper from our houses. The other items we give to the kabadiwala are glass, used bulbs, glasses, jars and crockery. Metals, containers, cupboards, etc. Plastics, containers, bottles, buckets and toys. Waste paper is brought to recycling factories. Here it is converted into pulp. Paper mills convert this pulp into paper again. Some factories make paper products like cards, paper plates, paper flowers, notebook paper, toilet paper and paper bags from recycled paper. Advantages of recycling Number 1. Save, saves natural resources. Fewer trees need to be cut to make new paper when we start recycling newspapers and magazines. In the way, a lesser amount of mining of metals would be required when we start recycling metal. Number 2. Reduces amount of waste. Recycling reduces amount of waste and solves the problem of waste disposal. It provides us with raw material for making new articles again. By following the golden rule of the four hours, we can save a lot of money and natural resources. We can save the environment from the ugly hand of waste. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do like. Share this video and subscribe the channel for more new and interesting videos. Bye!